Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now in this video we will learn that what is Friedel Acharya method and how it is used to solve a quadratic equation. So let's begin our topic by learning what is a quadratic equation. So a quadratic equation is basically of the form ax square plus bx plus c and which is equal to 0. So an equation which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is called as a quadratic equation. Now in this equation a, b, c are called as the numerical coefficients and x is any random variable. So again I will repeat that a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 is called a quadratic equation where a, b, c are its numerical coefficients and x is a random variable. Now in this equation there is only one restriction that a cannot be 0. Now this is because if a is 0 then this whole part will become 0 and it will simply become a linear equation. So the only restriction that we have in quadratic equation is that a must not be 0. Otherwise a, b and c can take any other value. So let's discuss the Sridhar Acharya method. So suppose we have an equation of the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and over here a is not equal to 0 then according to Sridhar Acharya method you can use the formula of x is equal to minus b plus minus of under root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So this formula is called as the Sridhar Acharya formula and this method of solving the roots of the quadratic equation is called as the Sridhar Acharya method. Now the part under the square root that is b square minus 4ac is called as the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So d is equal to b square minus 4ac. So let us learn that what can we tell about the roots of the quadratic equation with the help of the discriminant. So let's divide our analysis on discriminant into three cases. For the first case we will take the discriminant as less than 0. For the second case we will take discriminant as greater than 0 and for the third case we will take the value at 0. So for the first case when the discriminant is less than 0 we will have no real solutions because if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then we will get an imaginary quantity. So for that we will get no real solutions. Now moving on to the second part when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then in this case we will get two real solution and both the solutions will be different or distinct to each other. Now moving on to our third and final case that is when b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. In that case we will get only one real solution and the value of that root will be equal to minus b by 2a. So let's solve a very simple quadratic equation with the help of Sridhar Acharya method. So suppose we have a quadratic equation as 7x square plus 18x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now in this case we can see that a is not equal to 0 and when we will find the discriminant that is p square minus 4ac that is also greater than 0. So in this case we will get two real solutions. Now over here I can see that the value of a is equal to 7 the value of p is equal to 18 and the value of c is equal to 3. So putting these three values of a, b, c in the formula, we will get both the roots. So x is equal to minus b plus minus of under root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a, which is equal to minus 18 plus minus under root of 324 minus 4 into 7 into 3 whole divided by 2 into 7. Upon calculation you will find the value of the roots as minus 0 0.179 and the value of other root as minus 2.39. So the value of first root is negative 0.179 and the value of second root is negative 2.39. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. 
or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.